we have with us first baseman Sean O'Brien, head coach Joe Urso, relief pitcher Kevin McNorton, and shortstop Giovanni Alfonso. Coach Urso, if you would give us your thoughts on the game and then we'll take questions. Well, I mean, our offense came out a lot like uh, last game and, uh, you know, jumped on top of them, which I thought was going to be very important for us to relax. Uh, obviously, an elimination game against a, uh, you know, big-time opponent in Lander. Uh, but uh, Preston Packerel just did a great job, and, and Kevin McNorton, their one through five hitters are, are as dangerous as any one I, that we've seen, that we have faced, and uh, they got three hits in, the, in, the, in those type of batters, uh, one through five. Our situational hitting was good again. Uh, we had a couple big two out uh, RBIs after a, a stolen base. One was after a ball uh, to ex extend the lead, and uh, that's something you have to do, especially as we're getting later in this tournament, uh, trying to take care of Big Kev, but he just has to, uh, we keep having to go to him a lot, so. Questions? Sean, uh, this is now the second straight game where you've been in an elimination situation, but you've really kind of jumped on a team early. How much psychologically uh, does that give you an advantage? Put a couple of squiggly numbers up there early and make them play from behind instead of you? Yeah, well obviously it's great to uh, jump out on top in the beginning, but uh, Coach really wanted to stress uh, remember how you felt after that first game we lost, and just keep your focus and you know do do with the what we had in mind. So it was good to come out on top today. Giovanni, you guys seem to have um, kind of changed your focus at the plate. The first game you had 16 fly ball outs. In the last two games there have been a lot more you know ground balls and, and, and low line drives. What are you guys doing differently at the plate? And and you know how did that come about? Uh, well, two things, practice and focus, uh, and I guess they work together because uh, the last couple of days, uh, the last two practices, we've had, uh, we try to minimize our pop flies and uh, focus on hitting the gaps, hard line drives, and uh, Coach Urso has been stressing that along with our other coaches, you know, try to hit the ball hard on the ground or a hard line drive and stay out of the air. Um, and uh, all these guys are very disciplined, you know, on our team. We're, we're, we like to focus on one thing, and, and I think uh, right now that's our focus, and it's, it's been showing. Coach, uh, you guys have been so dominant this season. How would you get your team to, to you know, focus on uh, playing with pressure in the year? You haven't had a whole year. Yeah, I mean, the record, uh, you know, it, it's misleading a little bit because we have come from behind a lot. We have played in a lot of pressure situations. Um, you know, those those last three innings, um, we've had we've had numerous come come from behind. We've had uh, three extra inning wins. Uh, so these guys are used to playing with pressure, even though the record you know, fools you a little bit. Kevin, uh, this is now three games in a row you've been in and multiple innings in each game. Uh, is this, I, I've looked at your record, you don't usually pitch a lot of innings uh, when you're in there. Uh, is this something that you thrive on? Are you are you enjoying this? Or are you starting to maybe be concerned about stamina here? I mean, I'm enjoying it. I, uh, I just want to win. And, uh, you know, when the opportunity arises for me to go in the game, I'm going to get everything I got with, uh, until the, all the gas is going to the you talk about that inning that you came in. Runs on first and second, I believe, and one out. And you know, it's a seven to three ball game, but you know they hit a couple of gaps, and all of a sudden it's, it's it's interesting. What did you do to get out of that inning? I know you struck the guy out, but how could you explain? You know how, what went on in that inning? Well, I mean, I just when I go in coming out of the pen, especially you just want to you want to get ahead early and throw strikes, and that's what I've I've lived on all year. Throw a lot of strikes and uh, get ground balls and let my defense play behind me. Joe, is it a matter of, you know, this is there's no second chances anymore. You just got to ride your hoss, or uh, you know, are you you know, have you used him in situations like this before? Well, we've used him in situations like this all year. Uh, you know, th that off day yesterday really benefited him. Um, you know, moving forward, you know, now all of a sudden there's no off days. Uh, the offense gonna have to separate themselves a little bit more. Uh, we're gonna have to call in some some different guys on the bullpen. Um, if he's only available for maybe one or two innings. So we'll see how he bounce back to, uh, tomorrow. Uh, but that off day really helped us to be able to ex extend up the day. Can you throw more innings as a side of the guy than most pitchers? I mean, it, I think it's just a, just a matter to it is. You know, everybody's arms are different. I mean, now in the past, it's not been as, uh, I guess, healthy as it is now. But just, you know, my nose matter. And could you talk about, uh, you know, some of these guys have, have been here before, but you're a transfer, right? Yes, sir. So a lot of pressure's been put on you uh, in this series. Talk about how they've been here before, and you haven't, a lot of guys have been in your shoulders. Well, yeah, I mean, we got guys that's come from big places and done 
lots of big things. And you know, I come from a place where I, I've never had an opportunity to play for something like this. And, you know, I'm not going to go down without a fight. So be a very thank God. And then, excuse me, what's the transfer rules in Division Two? Is, is it not like Division One? Well, Division Division Two, you have a, a transfer where there's a future release, and you can transfer one time without sitting out a year. So from school to school. Right? That's right. Giovanni, you guys kind of really kind of had a scrape through in the regional and you lost that first game. But after these last two, do you feel like you guys are starting to hit your stride again? Um, it's all about momentum with this team. You know, we stay focused with, with how things have been going and we, we try not to uh, go away from what, what's been working. Um, so, you know, after losing that first game, we, we have to reevaluate what we were doing at the play, what we were doing defensively. And make our adjustments, and then now it's just sticking to those adjustments and, and continuing what we got going. You know, it's, it's just like a, a ball that's rolling. Any further questions? Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, Keon. Keon. All right.